Neil, automation is a big theme at the open house this week. Uh, behind us, we've got the DMU 50, being fed by the PH150 uh, automation solution. Before we talk about that bit, I want to just kind of interrogate you really on this machine because I know DMG Mori for their, their high performance, simultaneous five axis, high end five axis machines. This is your entry level, is that right? Well, this is our, you could call it an entry level, the simultaneous machining, but it's hardly an entry level because um, there's so many different options you can have on it. So, um, yes, it's probably our entry level simultaneous, but uh, it's very high spec. Uh, what would some of those What would some of those specs be on the machine that, that would sort of take it out of the uh, calling it an entry level, maybe? Okay. Well, first of all, um, the machine. Let's say we go through the build up of the table. The table is uh, planter gear, which is normally what we put on on our um, higher level machines. Um, it's simultaneous machining. Most entry level machining is, is uh, positional, um, which is like our CMX50U, which is over in the other corner. That is our true entry level machine. But say um, this is as close as you get to a simultaneous. But uh, the spindle uh, comes standard with a 15,000. Most people go for 20,000 RPM Speedmaster, which incidentally is made by, by DMG Mori. It's made in-house. It's made in, um, that we have uh, in the main factories in Germany and the main factories in uh, Japan. This is where this is manufactured. Quite evident, still quite a fast machine as well. Yeah, another thing I haven't mentioned as well, it's direct measuring. Um, so we've got Magna scale with the Siemens control and with Hyde 9 control we have uh, optical scales. And those are the two control options, are they, that you have with the machine as well? No, uh, we now fit Fanuc. Uh, so we, it was always uh, Siemens uh, with Celos or without, or Heidenheim with Celos or without, but now we fit our MAPS control, which is a Fanuc based control um, for, for, for this country and, uh, and for different uh, parts of the world. Is this a popular seller as a machine standalone for you? Uh, this is the best selling machine um, for the whole group. So the DMU 50, third generation, we sell more of these machines than any other machine. Okay, right, let's move on to the automation then here. Um, you, you've added this to it, this is your, not a third party solution, this is a DMG Mori solution, isn't it? Yes. Why have they introduced this, Neil? Uh, well, mainly because automation and unmanned operation uh, is becoming much, much more popular because mainly for, um, it's more expensive, to employ people and skill people, which you don't need to now with this. And this fits very well with this machine because, as we can say, um, we, we, we obviously need bigger tool changes with pallet systems. Um, but one thing I would like to mention about this PH150 is we used to have it made by an outside supplier, uh, which is Aroa. Aroa has always made these for us, but we, uh, as a, a group policy, We've now bring in everything in-house and we're manufacturing it in-house um, because we just have more control over it. So with the PH150, as you can see in its current configuration, this comes from Miroa, um, but we, we're going to do the same uh, similar pallet changer, which is being built now and should be available early next year, but we're going to have different configurations. So we're going to have bigger pallets, we can get up to 500 pallets, we can have more weight on the table and also we can have a bit um, uh, different gripper mechanisms. What weight can you get on these tables? 150 kilos. And is that the same as what you can get on the machine? Um, we, can, we can get more on the machine. We can at the moment, yes. And, and with this system then, Neil, would this be able, I mean, I know we're demonstrating it here with the DMU 50, but would it go on some of the other machines as well? Oh yeah, um, the, P, the PH 150 at the moment, we can fit it on the Evolution, which we have also demonstrated. Um, we can fit it on our vertical machines, so really we can fit it on most milling machines that we manufacture. I'd say we can fit it on more than the machines in our range than we can't. Is there much hardware uh, changes that need to be made to the side of the machine to get the fit? Uh, no, there's, um, all we have here is that we have, we have um, an extension part, obviously that has to fit um, the different machine to the, to the PH150. One thing we, we, we are doing, as you can see, if, if, if the camera would like to show, we have a separate control system for the PH150. Now we're going to bring it in-house. We're not going to have that, and we're going to do everything from the control. So what we can do is we can move this around. We can control what pallets, what jobs are on there. So we have full um, pallet management 
with, but on, on the sell-off control. You see, I can see that can be a distinct advantage to you. Um, there are lots of manufacturers around the world that have got, let's say, um, machines with pallets, uh, co uh, pallet configurations on them. What do, what do you say, and, and you make you think the DMG Mori is maybe a better choice? Uh, flexibility um, and also commonality because this PH150 will fit on the same nearly every model we have. Another reason is with the flexibility, um, the standard machine comes with eight pallets. We can go up to 20 pallets, obviously with smaller pallets. Then we can and then we can go uh, down to five pallets with 500 by 500 as well. So we can do virtually anything you want with this within reason of, of this pallet system. Being the most popular machine sold throughout the group, do you think this is just going to further more enhance sales of this type of machine for you? It already has. Um, we, we've sold a few in this country already. Um, and most, a lot of people now are interested in pallet pools. Finally, automation is starting to catch on in the UK.